now come to my channel and here i'll be showing you how you can uh, draw the auxiliary plan of a cube when you are given the uh, top view and also uh, the front elevation how you can draw the uh, auxiliary plan of a cube given the top view and also the front elevation so let me show you how it can be done so what we need to do first is to draw a horizontal line like this okay so having this horizontal line um, so we are constructing the plan first and this is how the plan is going to be so the plan is going to be inclined at an angle uh, of 30 degree in this direction okay then um, so part of the plan is that I will draw a line with my 30 degree, 60 degree set square so that it be at a right angle to the first line that we drew okay so the length or side of the top of the cube is 30 millimeters so this is 30 okay so I will also take 30 millimeters from here Okay, so this is 30 millimeters here. Alright, so I'm going to so use my 30 degree side of my cell square so to draw this line and also so to draw this. Alright. Alright, this is the top view which is square and I've numbered the points on the uh, corners one two three and four so now we are going to draw the uh, front elevation okay so um, so for the front elevation so I'm going to draw a vertical line from this point one so it goes up like this then I will draw a vertical line from this point four so it goes up and then from point two, I will draw a vertical line like this. And from point three, I will also draw a vertical line. All right. So the height of the cube, the height of the cube, I'm going to also make it 30 millimeters. So the height also 30 millimeters. So don't forget that it's a cube. So the these sides are equal in length. So we make this 30 millimeters so i'm going to draw a horizontal line here i will draw the horizontal line like this so this line i'm supposed to make it a thick line so from here to here okay so then other lines so if i'm looking at this object from here up so this line i'm going to see this corner so this line will be a thick line this will be a thick line okay so also i will see this line so this line at point two will be a thick line like this and also this i will also see this corner so this will be a thick line so from here to here but this one will be hidden from me so we have to draw this with short dashes line like this so don't forget that you want to draw the auxiliary plan of this cube that's what you want to do so this base also will be drawn with a thick line from here to here all right so having obtained this so i'm going to number this point so this point is point one prime so this is point four prime and this point will be two prime so why this will be three prime Okay, so I'm going to call this one. Uh, this is four, so this is two, and this is three. Okay, so as we have it there, so the next thing that we are going to do is to know the angle at which the object is being viewed. So the angle at which the object is being being viewed, as I'm going to have it here, is 45 degree. So we are viewing it at an angle of 45 degree to the horizontal. So this is the arrow okay so this and the angle so the angle here as i said is 45 degree so all right so um 
So yeah, we have this to be 45 degree. All right, so that's only 45 degrees. So that means we have to use our 45 degrees square to project a line or a line from each point on the uh, front elevation since we are drawing the auxiliary plan. So then, um, so from this point, we draw a line at an angle 45 degree. Then from this point, two here or two prime. So we draw a line in this direction. So from point four prime, so we draw a line in this direction. And from point one prime, so we draw a line in this direction. So I just move away a little bit and then I will draw this line like this with my 45 degrees square. So this line has to be at the right angle to this line that we produce from this base. Okay, so now when I'm doing the object in this direction, I'm going to see this point. So this point now, which is point three in the plan, so I'm going to fix it here. So this is point three. So I need to get other point that is point two, point one, and point four. So how can we get that? So that's where the work uh, will be done. So what we need to do now is to draw horizontal line from this point like this. So from point one here, we draw horizontal line. Okay. So from point three, so we draw horizontal line, and from point four, we draw horizontal line to this side. Okay. Now having done that, so I'm going to, um, so this vertical line that I've drawn here, I'm going to complete it like this. Okay. All right. So now looking at this now, this is point two. So this point is point two. This is point one. So this is point three. While this one is point four. So what I will do now is to take my compass. So I take my compass, putting it at point three here. I will take it to point four here. All right. So putting at point three. As I've located point three here, I will make an arc here. So I make an arc here. Okay. Well, let's do it like this so that it can be. Quickly, uh, you can quickly get it. So follow this line for here, this line for that we produce from the base of the front elevation. Just follow it. So then come to this center here, to this point. So make an arc at this point, like this. So this is point four. Okay, then from three to one, from three to one, here. This is it. From three to one here. So we follow line one that we do from here. So on this line, so we put at this point and make an arc here. So this is point one. Okay. Then from three to two. So bringing it here to this point. So we follow this line two here. Okay, so getting to this point, okay, so we make an arc here. So this is point two. All right, so we are going to connect this together. So uh, we can see this line. So when we are looking at it in this direction, so we see this line. So that means we have to make this line a thick line from here to here. Okay, so also, so we make this line here a thick line from here. To here, and then this line will be hidden from us. To be hidden from us, so we we'll draw it with short, short dashes line. Like this, okay. So also we we'll draw this with short dashes line. It will be hidden from us. All right. So that is the base. So the next thing that we are going to do is that with our forty-five degrees square. With our five degrees square, we are going to draw a line from this point. So we draw a line from this point to here. So let it go up like this. Also from point one, draw a line like this. Then we have drawn that of three. So from point four, draw a line like this. All right. So the next thing that we are going to do is that with the same for five degrees square. So we are going to draw a line. So from point three here on the top of 
the front elevation so that is this is the top of the front elevation so we draw a line from this point from point 3 and it goes like this okay so it goes like this that's from point 3 then from point 2 we draw a line from here and it goes like this all right so okay so from point 4 so we draw a line so from here so it touches this line so that is line 4 so let's stop it there then from point 1 here so we draw a line in this direction to meet line 1 all right so let's locate all those points so for following this line on 3 so as you go like this so this is point 3 here here we have point 3 so following this line on 2 so coming to this point this is point 2 here and following this line on 4 so this is point 4 so and then following this line on 1 this is point 1 so we are going to connect these points together so we connect uh, this point so we connect them together so I will connect so here we have what we have so let me call this so let me call this this is 3 prime so this is 4 prime this is 1 prime and this is 2 prime so I will connect this together so connect 4 prime 1 prime together and I will connect oh Alright, so I made a mistake here. Put point one on this line two here. So this is where we are supposed to have point one. This is one, so we have one prime here. Sorry for that. So I'm supposed to join four prime one prime together like this, and then we connect. So three prime two prime together like this, and then so we connect. 1 prime, 2 prime together like this. Okay, so this line, we are going to make this line a thick line. That is line 2, 2 prime. So line 3, 3 prime, so we make it a thick line. And line 4, 4 prime, so we make it a thick line. So line, while line 1, 1 prime, so will be a sh drawn with short dashes line. So that will be hidden from us. Alright, so this is the cube. This is how the cube will look. So this is the auxiliary plan of this cube with the way the plan is positioned. So thank you. I keep on practicing. God bless you.